This week's video is based around different passing drills for netball. I would just like to remind you all that last week's video was different netball passes. So if you haven't seen that one yet, please go and check it out as it will help you for this week's video. And if you already have, remember to use these different passes in these passing drills. Thank you guys. Start by splitting the group into eights. Two balls starting with player one and player four. The players then pass the balls diagonally until the ball reaches an end. They then pass the ball straight to the person opposite them and continue the practice. A coaching point for quick passing is to remember quick direct passing is a must. Split your group into eight. Two balls are needed for this pass and move exercise. The balls start on opposite corners and are passed clockwise. Each player after having passed the ball swaps places with the player across the square that passed the ball at the same time as them. Make sure players know who they are swapping with before you start the practice. This will make it run smoothly. Once the practice is established, coach can encourage players to push their teammates to meet the ball by passing the ball into the space regardless if the player is there or not. If the player does not meet the ball, a new pair can switch in, continue switching players in and out. Coach should communicate what pass should be used, i.e. chest, shoulder, bounce pass. Have two lines of players both stood behind the cone on the edge of the first third. The red player starts with the ball, the blue player sprints to the corner of the baseline and receives the diagonal pass from the red player. Once they have received the ball, the blue player then passes the ball to the next player in their team before sprinting back to their line. The drill repeats the other way around, blue passing to red. Drill continues in this way. Time the move and sprint onto the ball. Players should be moving at all times and not standing waiting for the pass. This should be a continuous drill and is a great one to integrate into your pre-match routines as it gets large groups of players moving. If you want to progress the drill, you could add a defender in the middle for players to practice passing over and around.